What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for joining me here today on this Friday, March 17th, 2023, for another Metallic episode of Music of Destruction. Coming to you from the brand new MOD Crypt, as always, bringing you the absolute best in metal-related content right here on YouTube. Check out Metal Bends, Chronicles, Damaged Incorporated, and Thrash, or be thrashed as well. You got some awesome metal YouTubers there as well. I, if you missed anything in the past week, click the upper right corner of the screen right now. Bring down that drop down menu. Everything that you need to get caught up is there. Remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. You're looking at one of the hardest working channels, MOD, bringing you only the most elite underground metal on the platform. Welcome to Metal Album Warfare Fridays here on the channel tonight. We have an awesome battle of two black metal elites within Setslick versus Herc Sabit, you guys. And I'm really excited for this. There's what the tape looks like there, and I'll pull out the uh, the inlay here for you. Very DIY stuff here. This is not some pro tape crap, but I do like pro tapes. But this is very, very DIY, man. Very, very, very cool stuff here within Setslick and Herc Sabit. Now, this was released in 2014 on Wolf's Boar Records. I got copy number 49 of 66 and you know what i figured a black metal split tape would be perfect for tonight's awesome episode and of course this tape again not i don't know if you're going to be able to find copies wolf's four records um has been shut down i don't know if he's going to be reopening his uh tape shop however you may be able to find it through other distros now when sets like hails from australia and herc Sabit hailing from mexico and I gotta say that this is some of the most ugly, raw, primal black metal in existence from both of these elites in the underground, ladies and gentlemen. Now this split clocks in at just over 12 minutes and it contains two tracks from each respective artist. So you have Azathoth from Insetslik and I can't remember the other guy's name, it's some weird ritualistic name from Herc Sabit and there's been a lot of unfair criticism against Herc Sabit. Some people have called him corpse painted clown music. Uh, these were a couple of basement dwelling losers on um, uh, metal archives that were kind of insulting his work. I think that Herc Sabit brings a lot to the table when it comes to really reigniting that black flame of the Les Legions Noir, albeit with a South American flair. In sets like being from Australia, you definitely have that raw, primitive, uncompromised black metal uh, and dark ambient side of things. You know that's coming out of Australia, and I think this was a perfect idea for these two artists to get together and unleash their weapon of hatred and intolerance deep in the underground. All right, let's just get into this. First up, we have in sets like Burning Light of Ancient Memories versus Herxabit, Boya Asa et Carnem, and I believe I'm saying that wrong. I can't pronounce uh, Spanish very well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what we get here with these two tracks is just primitive, raw, intolerant hatred. Burning Light of Ancient Memories is a is a really incredible dark ambient track here from Insetslik that's extremely minimalistic but very abysmal. You've got like this cavernous burning candles in a cave type feel with a very cold misanthropic approach that works well. Very minimalistic and again you're not going to be able to appreciate this if you don't already know what this type of expression is about. Uh, Herxabit's side, Boya Aset et Carnum is definitely got that primitive raw ritual ambient thing going as well. There's a lot of cold bleak atmosphere here and definitely a lot of intolerance and elitism from these two artists because these two guys don't give a shit if you like their music or not pretty much sounds like me if you don't like my channel i really don't give a shit i mean this is the stuff that i cover here this is the same attitude i have about metal i think it should be this way uh, especially when it comes to black metal okay there's i don't like commercial fucking trendy filth with the clean production and the you know, overdone keyboards on the more... I don't like symphonic black metal, just put it that way. And I don't like clean fucking production in my BM at all. Um, but yeah, these two tracks, uncompromised, pure intolerance. They're both getting a point. Next, we have Insets Like Tombstones and Ravenclaws versus Herxabit Premium Verbum Del Nuovo. Mondegafel, I believe is how you say that. And again, you have two uncompromising... These two tracks are actually black metal and... What really is stands out to me about these is the similarities. Yes, they're from different hemispheres, but they have a similar approach to that, paying that tribute to the raw underground that they obviously are influenced by. And you can hear a lot of Les Leges Noir influence in both of these tracks, but also have their own take being from Australia and Mexico. Those types of riffs and that 
influence definitely comes through on these. This is just cold, pure misanthropic despair with no regard for palatability, sensibility, traditional song structuring, or any of that stuff that would gravitate people to this. No, this is going to keep most people away. That's the whole point of music that uh, that falls within this category. You're not getting music that most people are going to enjoy. You're going to get exactly what they want you to get out, out of it by projecting what they're feeling. And that's one of the most honest forms of expressionism, if you ask me. And that is exactly why I am into stuff like this. Because to me, metal is all about individuality. It's not a collective inclusive fucking Mickey Mouse Club, okay? Anyway, these two tracks are absolutely amazing. I'm giving both of them a point. So now we're going to add up the scores and such like coming in with two points or save it comes in with two points as well. And you know what's crazy about these split tapes uh, is that it's very difficult to pick a winner in these battles because artists, like I've been saying in this underground genre, usually have extremely similar sounding music and ideas and concepts so it was very impossible for me to pick a winner in this battle because both these guys make such cold raw hateful music that it's difficult to choose which one is better and as i don't know many people who are going to enjoy this i'll just tell you that right now because only people like myself desire the most ugly primal music within black metal and of course we have a tie here guys because these two tracks from both these artists on this split are absolutely incredible and so important to the creation of extreme metal. I love both of these artists equally hail the fucking underground. All right, there you have it. Another metal album warfare is in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. Merchandise. Janelle remaking a lot of the merch right now. She's coming up with some far better designs. We went over the merch. We're coming up with some new stuff. So make sure you go check out the store tab. We will be uploading new merch there. Thank you to everybody who's been patient with us there. Uh, join the channel right now. Become an MOD Elite. You get great perks. $2.49 for your first month. $4.99 thereafter. Hit the join button. You get access to exclusive content. Review requests within reason. Ban interviews if you have a ban. Cadaver right. Holocaust and Crypt Worm coming up on the channel this year. It's going to be amazing. You also get Brothers from Hell Mondays collaborations. Metal Ben and I doing that up. We just did Death Hammer. Electric Warfare. It was awesome. You also get members only underground metal radio shows over on twitch thank you guys for watching here today i really appreciate it. like comment subscribe and share have an awesome night we'll see you for the underground metal radio show on the crypt tomorrow night